this is only the real best flutter tips from Fireship. Over years, Fireship has released so many great flutter tips, and right now I will show you which one are the best. Every great app starts with a great design. First thing you should do when you start a new application is to plan the UI and UX design. You can draw this on a piece of paper or you can use a more professional tool to do it. Figma is one of the best tools that you can use to create your app UI and UX design. Another great tool is Rive. This one will allow you to create custom animation for your app. All the animation on the screen has been created with Rive. You want to avoid spaghetti code as much as you can. Speaking of spaghetti code, when you will start with Flutter, you will quickly realize that you need to send data back and forth through the widget tree. With state management, you can access anything inside your app without having to send data back and forth into your widget tree. Provider is one of the most popular with Flutter. Most of the time, you will need to authenticate your users. And one of the easiest way to do it is by using Firebase authentication. You can log in with Google, Twitter, Facebook, Apple, or typical emails. Google and Facebook are the most common. You can also use Firebase for your Flutter app database, which is very convenient and easy to apply. Usually you will need to wait for the server to process before displaying more into the app. And by using await, you will make sure that the app will wait the return of information before it continues. Now, let's activate the Zen mode within VS Code and jump into the Flutter coding tips. When you create variables, they are considered public and accessible from any other pages. If you want to set your variable as private, you can add an underscore prior to the variable name. This variable will then be hidden and inaccessible from other pages. The next tip is a good one if you work a lot with list. If you want to get the last element within a list, you can use dot .last. Dragon Ball. You know how boring basics icons can be sometime. And if you want to have much more icons possibilities, you can use font awesome icons. Okay, to be honest with you, I never use this one, but it's cool. Speaking of cool things, it's time to talk about five widgets. The expanded widget should be used inside a row or a column. This is often used to build responsive layout. Next, we have the stack widget, the positioned widget, the bug shadow widget, and to create drag and drop event into your app, you can use the draggable and drag target widgets. Fireship show us in one of his video how to create this radial menu step by step. But I found online this Flutter package called Circle Menu. It's up to you. One of the best Flutter page animation is from the animated sideshow video. This animation actually use a widget called Animated Container. With this one, Flutter will animate for you the container properties if they change. At one point into the app, you will need to change the app icon. You only need to add an app icon into the project, run a simple comment, and voila. Your app icon will be set up for Android and iOS. Now, let's say you are building a drone delivery app and you need to notify the user when the drone successfully delivered a package. You will need to add notification into your app and the easiest way to do it is with the Firebase messaging package. And this was only the real best flutter tips from Fireship.